What's up, guys? It's Telenik here. I'm back with another Top 10 Tuesday. This week, I'm going to be announcing my Top 10 Favorite Mario Kart items. Now, these will be ranked off um, of how good they are, how um, iconic they are, the rarity of how rare you get the item, and the placement of what you can get with this item. Like, and if you have, if you get one of these items and you get into second, that's a very good item. Now, these items will be from Super Mario Kart to Mario Kart 8. And I decided to do this list just because. Um, I don't think there's going to be a DLC of a Mario Kart item, and we don't know when Mario Kart 9 is going to come out. Also, um, I was going to do my favorite Mario Kart, eight, um, Mario Kart tracks. God damn it, I can't speak. Um, but you know, we don't have confirmation of a DLC pack three coming out, so um, I don't know if that's going to come out or not. And if it does, you know, one of my favorite tracks could be in there, and who knows. So, um, since there is no confirmation of a DLC Pack 3, we're going to be doing the top 10 favorite Mario Kart items. And I'll start off with number 10. At number 10, we have the Banana Peel. Now, the Banana Peel has been every single game. Uh, there are different types of Banana Peels. There are the Giant Banana Peels in um, Mario Kart Double Dash with Donkey Kong or Diddy Kong having these enormous um, bananas. And when, when in contact with another opponent... It splits into three different bananas, um, all going like a triangle. And, I mean, the banana peel is very good. You can throw it behind you, You can like, which I like to do, but you can also throw it in front of you, and it can protect you from red shells. Also, from the person behind you, if they're trying to tailgate, they can ac accidentally slip on it and spin out instead of passing you. So, you know, it's number 10. It's not the best item, but... It is very iconic, probably one of the most iconic Mario Kart items. Anyway, at number nine we have the Babam or whatever you want to call it. I think it's Babam or Bomb Bomb. -bom. I don't know, but yeah, um, these items are. This item is very good, um, especially if like um, someone's behind you. It just explodes and the knockback brings you upwards, making the opponent lose a lot of time. Um, to accelerate and giving that you much more time to get a head start from them. Um, this can also be thrown forward, but I don't really like throwing it forward that much because you never know with Mario Kart with aiming and stuff. But um, yeah, also when hit by a green shell, if it's like behind you, I don't think it hurts. It hurts you in some games, but other games, it just explodes like and makes an explosion. Like right next to you, destroying anything that touches uh, that's like close to you. Anyway, at number eight we have the lightning bolt. Now a lot of people hate the lightning bolt, you know. Um, but I'm counting this item as like when you get it. It's especially good in Mario Kart Double Dash because once you get it, all the um, characters are tiny for a for a certain amount of time, and it doesn't matter if you're in first or if you're in like last. The lightning bolt hit, hits everyone, and it does the same amount of time, making them small, giving you an advantage because it can be like a minute where they're small. Actually, no, not a minute. Like ten seconds where they're small, and everyone's just small for ten seconds. So you can go right past seventh place or si sixth place whenever you get the lightning bolt, and it's very good in double dash. But it's also very good in other games, making players lose their items. But sadly, if someone has an invincibility, then they'll probably pass you, and that can be a disadvantage of the lightning bolt. But other than that, I mean, you can also trap people, like, if someone's going through a cannon, you can just trap them, and they'll fall down to their death. Like, if someone, if everyone's going to a cannon, like in DK Mountain, you can just kill them all when they're going through the cannon, and just make them lose, which is very trolly, but, yeah. Anyway, at number 7, we have the Star Power Up. Now, Star Power Up makes you invincible. It is very good in almost every single game except for Mario Kart 8. Also, Mario Kart 7 is pretty bad, too. But, yeah, it got nerfed over the years of Mario Kart. In Mario Kart Wii and Mario Kart DS, the Star Power Up was very good, making you invincible, gaining speed, and 
The only thing that was bad about it is that the bottomless pits are the only thing that can kill you. It doesn't really make any sense because you're invincible, yet you can still be killed. You can still fall off. But um, other than that, it can also protect you against blue shells, bullet bills, um, almost everything. And it's very rare, though. It only comes like in 8th place or below or 7th place. Depends on what game you have. And other than that, it's a very good item, except for Mario Kart 8. So yeah, in Mario Kart 8, it's very different. Um, the acceleration um, is the only thing that changes it. Where in Mario Kart 8, you get the star power up, and you have max acceleration, and like that's it. Your acceleration just, when you hit a wall, you just gain your speed back immediately, and that's the only thing that happens where you don't even get a speed boost and you're not faster than anyone else which is kind of stupid but yeah um anyway at number um six i think this is yeah at number six we have the magic eight or i don't even know what it's called i think it's lucky eight it's kind of like the lucky seven except with one more item that's why it's a little bit better this item it gives you a bob -ba bomb a coin uh, invincibility, a mushroom, a banana, a green shell, a red shell, and I think something else, but I forget. But it gives you eight items surrounding you. The only bad part about it is that someone can steal your invincibility or someone can steal your um, um, mushroom by just hitting your side because they're all like s swarming around you. So what I like to do is just spam them all and spamming them gives you uh, an advantage to go forward and also um, a disadvantage for the people behind you because um, there'll be like banana peels and shells knocking all over the place. Also, this does give a disadvantage to the people in front of you because you're invincible. Anyway, at number five, we have the Super Horn. Now, this has only been in Mario Kart 8. Same thing with the Lucky 8 or Magic 8. Um, I forgot to mention that. But the Super Horn is the only thing that you can get in first place that can destroy the blue shell. Now, this is a very good item because the blue shell does appear very often in later in later games, other than Double Dash, where it only like appears once. Mario Kart Wii appears a bunch of times. Mario Kart DS it appears um, very few times. Mario Kart 7 appears sometimes, but Mario Kart 8. It does appear a lot of times, not as much as Mario Kart Wii, I have to say, but the Super Horn, like I said, it is very rare though to get it, but once you get it, it sends a shockwave destroying anyone or anything that is surrounding you, including the blue shell. But anyway, um, that's basically what it is, and um, let's go on to number four. At number four, we have the triple red shell. Now, the triple red shell is a very good item. The only bad part is its weakness, the triple banana. Now, the triple red shell can kill, um, you can get into fourth to first just with these. All you have to do is just throw a red shell at the person in third, then wait until you pass them, throw the red shell into the person in second, Wait to pass them, and then throw the red shell at the person in first, and you're in first. But yeah, um, it's a very good item. The only thing that is bad about it is if someone is being very protective and is in first place and has like a green shell or a banana behind them protecting them. Um, also, like I said, the triple um, bananas can block all three of them, making it a total waste unless you have another red shell with you. Um, but yeah, um... It is very good, especially in Mario Kart 8, because in Mario Kart 8, when you get the triple bananas, they swarm you in a cir in like a circle and making you vulnerable in between the spaces between the one banana and the other banana, and so you're not completely safe. So the triple reds are very good in Mario Kart 8, and it can get you three places ahead. Anyway, at number three, we have the blue shell. Now, a lot of people hate this item i personally hate this item too but when you have it like i said this item this list is going to be when you have it so this item like you all know destroys the person in first now this can help 
tremendously because a person in first can be very far ahead of you and is and is uh, avoiding all the other players because the only person that can really catch up is the person in second. And if you have the blue shell, you can just destroy them and just get closer to the person in first. Um, this item is very good, especially in Mario Kart 7 8 because it goes on the ground. So if you are like an eighth, um, you can just throw it and it can also hit the people that are in front of you. So it does give it a bit of an advantage, making it like a green shell, blue shell type of um, weapon where it slides on the ground, hitting everyone in front of it, going super fast. And then you can pass them and the person in first, you'll probably pass if like you if you're close to them also it does make a huge explosion so person in second can also get destroyed if you're in third or fourth anyway at number two we have the golden mushroom now the golden mushroom is a very good um item giving you almost unlimited mushrooms just rapidly pressing the button um it's very good because it's better than the three mushrooms because you can have like 20 in a limited time i think it's about like 10 seconds that you can use it it is a bit bad when you're like on rainbow road or something where mushrooms are basically um your death where you can just fall off very easily but it is it can make you go really fast and skip a bunch of places anyway at number one you guys already probably guessed it the bullet bill so the bullet bill is number one because you don't even have to control it. You have you don't have any you don't need any skill to do the bullet bill. All you do is just press a button and it just goes autopilot going super fast destroying ev everyone in the middle row and you don't have to control it at all. The only bad part about it is that um that you um that when it like stops, sometimes it stops at a bad point of time. Like, if it stops right near a turn, it can be very bad. But Mario Kart 8, I think they saw that, like, once they see a turn, they the bullet build, like, slows down, turns, and then you go. But it is a very good item, especially because it is basically a combination of invincibility, a mushroom, and and the golden mushroom. And, um... And yeah, it's basically both of those. The invincibility and mushrooms, because you're going very fast and you're basically invincible and destroying everyone in your way, like invincible. But yeah, um, it's the best um item, and it's been in Mario Kart DS through Mario Kart 8, and hopefully in Mario Kart 9, this um item will still be in. But yeah, so my favorite Mario Kart item is Bullet Bill. So yeah. Nothing really much to say. If you guys have any suggestions of any more Top 10 Tuesdays, let me know in the comments below. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I'm sorry about my like bad comment commentating. It's just, I'm, I really can't speak today. Or any day. <laughs> I'm still getting used to commentating. But yeah. Anyway, um, make sure to stay tuned for more Top 10 Tuesdays right here. Until next.